Today we're going to do a quick video on how you give your team members their access uh, through our admin functionality. Now I'm, I'm probably going to start even a higher level because I want to say if we were just giving you access, what are you going to see? Uh, when? How do you set up your account when we deliver you a team account? So on our end we will have set up your username and then it's up to you to verify your password. Now many times this will happen and you're actually going to receive an email it says let's verify your email to finish setting up your account sometimes that might come in your main inbox in this case it actually came to my promotions folder so that's something I want to call out this would be very similar to when you give your learners access this email could potentially come into the update section I'm, I'm in my Gmail you know each mail server is a little different sometimes this could come into a marketing folder there's always a chance it could go into a spam folder hopefully it goes into your main email account it's just a little hard for me to confirm uh, where it's exactly going to go in your server. So there's going to be a link here to verify and create your password. So if you'd already had an Interplay Skilled Trades account, you're not going to have to do this. You're already going to have your username and password. But this does show exactly what, when you give your learners access, this is what they're going to see. So in this case, I'm going to click on that link. And now I am can just go ahead and I can set up my password. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use the term interplay, interplay, and now I am in as uh, my test manager. So now as I continue on, I'm going to look into my organization. I've actually, uh, and I'm going to go back a little bit here, when I look at at my dashboard here as soon as I enter if I can look on this left hand side I'm gonna see my organization that's where your information is gonna live in relation to how you give people access so now I am going to click on my organization uh, I already have uh, another uh, personal account that I have put in here uh, you can see that I've got two seats available to give and now I'm going to add a member. So just imagine if you've got, uh, you know, this is the learners you're going to be giving access to. This is now what they're going to see. So in your case, you are going to um, new learner. And I'm going to have to use kind of a funny email address here that allows me to kind of test this and show you how the email comes through. So this is just some things that I'm doing to help visualize what what would be going on but of course in this case you would be putting your learners email so you know Fred Lerner and then Fred Lerner at company.com like that's what the email address you're going to put in and now I'm going to click add so now I'm actually going to then show what that learner is going to get. That learner now, you, you've set up their account, but they've not yet verified their email and created a password. So uh, you know, a lot of times you'll inform your learner to say, hey, you know, be on the lookout for this email. Now remember that there's always going to be a chance that the learner needs to make sure they find where the email went, whether it's a promotions folder or primary folder. In this case, uh, it was in my promotions folder. This is the account we set up. And just like how we've done it with your account, we're going to go ahead and click to verify this new learner's email. And then now we're just going to set up a password, set up a password. And now, you know, this representing once again, you know, one of your, uh, one of your learners, they now have access. They have access to the full dashboard. Always going to say that uh, when they click on a course catalog, they can always go and jump into the Success Center. These are some high-level videos that they can do. And just remember, when you are starting in your first course, you're going to click Enroll, and then you're going to click Start. And now you're in your course, uh, or now your learner's in their course. So always feel free to reach out with questions, but just wanted to make this video to show you how you can set up your learner's accounts. And let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.